Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick video on the NHL updating their regulations and CBA due to the COVID-19 ongoing pandemic. The NHL, the National Hockey League Players Association, the National Hockey League announced yesterday an agreement to temporarily form taxi squads as well as temporary changes to the collective bargaining agreement to address issues related to the ongoing pandemic, um, <clears throat> as well as... Yesterday, there were three additional games that have been postponed for COVID reasons. Columbus at Chicago on the 28th, Toronto, Boston, and Ottawa, or, Tor or Pittsburgh and Toronto, excuse me, and Boston, Ottawa on December 29th, with the other games postponed. The league and NHLPA will continue to monitor test results and teams' readiness to play. Over the upcoming days and weeks, a variety of factors will be considered when assessing whether a team should be postponed, including the number of players unavailable to a team due to COVID protocol, the risk of further transmission within a team, a club's access to players from its minor league affiliate, and positional roster issues that may arise due to player shortages, among other factors. The health and safety of all players and club personnel remain the number one priority, and games will continue to be postponed to the extent health and safety concerns warrant. So obviously the NHL, that's why they decommitted from the Olympics that McDavid and other people were disappointed from. Rightfully, obviously, you no, not right, but you expected them to be disappointed from, but it's the right decision. And, and when people get through their disappointments, most of them admitted it was the right decision. But when we get into the taxi squads, the NHL and NHLPA have agreed to the formation of taxi squads in order to provide clubs with readily available players who can be recalled to the NHL in order to minimize the chances that clubs have to play shorthanded or games will be postponed due to the pandemic-related issues. It is optional, though. Clubs will be permitted to form taxi squads. Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and other teams, Tony Androkas of um, AHL, um, of AHL Insiders there, he tweets um, all different stuff. He's an AHL Insider where um, about the teams that have already called up people because of taxi squad reasons then teams calling up people from their ECHL for the AHL, so it's already been in the work. Uh, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Penguins, and the Penguins organization were one of the teams already doing it. But clubs will be permitted to form taxi squads on a temporary basis beginning on December 26, 2021, subject to holiday roster freeze restrictions, and lasting through the date of the final game prior to schedule games for the 2022 All-Star break, which is in the beginning of February. After each club's final game before the All-Star break, its taxi squad will dissolve. Clubs may then recall or reassign the players that were assigned to the taxi squad. So it says clubs will be permitted to assign a maximum of six players to the taxi squad. All such assignments will be subject to the waiver requirements as applicable. No individual player may spend more than 20 days. That's a really good additional rule this year because last year people were buried on the taxi squad, barely playing any games. So it's good to see they can't spend more than 20 days cumulative on the taxi squad. And uh, players on the loan to the taxi squad will be permitted to travel and practice with the NHL club. However, such players can only play in an NHL game if recalled or placed on the NHL's club active roster before such NHL deadline and no later than the appropriate 5 p.m. deadline. Although not all players on loan to the taxi squad are required to travel to away games, it's recommended that obviously they have a sufficient number of travel to away games so that they're able to have that happen. Also, um, the other thing I read is if players were on the active roster, the taxi squad doesn't include people that are on their active roster. I think it was on December 22nd. Um, from something I read from The Athletic, where it has to be people that, unless if it was an emergency call-up, then those guys are allowed to be in your taxi squad. But it's only such players that are allowed in the taxi squad a, are subject to the waiver rules of the league, and also they can only be on there for 20 cumulative days. So I think that's a good idea to be able to cycle different players through, not have the same guys on there, not being able to play their AHL game, so they're not playing enough hockey over the course of the year like it was last year. And then they came back to playing a full season. That's kind of why you see some more bugaboo uh, banged up injuries this year because certain guys just didn't play much last year. This way that they're doing it this year, right now it's just to the All-Star break. Hopefully that's all they're going to need it till. But it's a good idea and it's a better idea of how they formed it last year. If they had some of these regulations in place, it would have worked a little bit better logistically last year, though I'm not blaming anybody because obviously the world was in a hell wind and it still kind of is. So they had to do what they had to do. But the NHL and NHLPA have also agreed the modifications of the CBA effective as of December 26, 2021, where a club should be permitted to recall a player um, to the roster emergency acceptance with an average amount 
that is more than one million for purposes of clarity any performance bonuses owned by a player recalled shall be included in the club in determining a club's performance bonus overage for, for the 2022 and 23 season so that's just an economical um thing and then if a club has fewer than two goaltenders on its active roster who are able to play in the ne- in the club's next regular season game due to injury or illness it will be permitted to recall a goaltender immediately without the club uh, so they don't have to play with basically too few goaltenders. And then also, from something I read via The Athletic, it seems like your extra taxi squad goaltender, so if you have a goaltender on the taxi squad for and switch them out for the different 20 cumulative days there, that they're able to be recalled immediately. So say if they're in the locker room, um, they're able to be recalled immediately if two guys were to go down in, in a game because it says should this is how it's actually worded should both goaltenders on a club's playing roster become incapacitated during an NHL game the club will similarly be permitted to immediately recall a goaltender for the purposes of playing in such game so that would mean if your third goaltender is around like say in the locker room and active you can immediately activate him recall him to so say if it's Felix Sandstrom for the Flyers Joseph Wall for the Maple Leafs you can immediately activate them <clears throat> and put them in the game and have them play or Spencer Knight for the uh, Florida Panthers. You can activate them and have them play. So that is some of the updates on the rules and regulations. There's a couple more that have taken place as well that you can read and review, but these were the main things that I thought I had to go over. Please like and subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. Keep us going to 185 for the New Year goal or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Enjoy the New Year, enjoy the World Juniors, and enjoy the New Year of Hockey where hopefully things start going at a better steady tide and things start getting better in the New Year. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.